Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Now then, on today's video, I've got something very special for you guys. We are looking at this. It's the brand new Rolaro AK917. Uh, for those of you who don't know what the AK917 is, it's that basically Rolaro's supercar. It looks like a bit like an old an old Gulf Porsche. Um, and this version is the roller, so basically it doesn't contain any electronics, it's just the rolling chassis, hence the name. Uh, this has very kindly been donated for a, a review today by a mate of mine. He's literally just got this in the post. Um, he ordered it a few, it might have been a, a month and a half, two months ago, or something like that, when they first come out. This is one of the initial batch of the, the really cheap ones. I think uh, this first two, three hundred people to put an order in, I think they got it at a massively discounted price, and this is one of those. Uh, it's taken a little while to turn up, but it's got it in, in the end. Now, this is the aluminium chassis version. Uh, the one of the box is the carbon fibre version. He's also got one of these coming, so we're going get, to get to have a look at that as well. Uh, but he's let me have this to do an unboxing uh, and a review on, basically. And then hopefully at some future point, uh, we'll have put motor and ESC and, every, and the electronics in this and we can actually see it running. But today's video, we're going to take this out, see what the quality is like, see what you get and just have a good gawp over it. Uh, we've also got, he's also given me a load of tricks, a pass hobby, bits and pieces uh, to have a look at as well. So it's like... It's Christmas every day. <laughs> Sorry, Kev. Um, but there's loads of boxes to unpack. We can have a look at this. I'm quite excited. Um, he's had a quick look inside just to verify that it is all there, and it is. Apart from that, he's not touched it. So anyway, enough waffle from me. Let's get this bad boy out and see what the crack is. Right then, in the box we have a chassis protector and we have a set of carbon fiber sort of bat wings for the rear spoiler now these two items i believe were free gifts uh, not only did you get the car for a cheap price if you were the first i can't remember how many people to order it you got like a couple of free gifts and one of the and cup these free gifts with a chassis protector and these carbon fiber wings there also i think you might you might have got a, a piece of jewelry i'm not sure i did mention it um we've got a bag of uh stickers some spare parts look to be some spare gears here sort of reduction gears and pinion gears uh, what look like several brackets i think a servo mount and a servo arm we've obviously got some instructions he has actually given me permission to open this bag so you know what in fact that's what we'll do we'll have a quick look let's get it open yeah so we've got some trick shiny stickers that definitely looks like there's a pinion gear in there as well, metal pinion gear. But that definitely looks like some sort of servo mount. It might even mount the servo for him. He has given us a trick eco boost one to, to use. Um, there is a bag of, like I say, spare gears, etc., and some not look like diff gaskets, possibly. Uh, a nice little metal spanner with some Allen keys and some sticky pads. And we've got a promotional leaflet here and I'm guessing oh, uh, one of them is spares yes one of them is, is spares it's got like a full spares list with all the trick bits and pieces you can spend your money on uh, last but not least and this is the exciting bit let's clear some space oh god we have the car itself now then <laughs> dun, dun, dun. look at that baby that, <laughs> that looks really trick I I'm uh, I've always, I think he started to pull. It would be rude not to take the plastic. Yes, let's take the plastic off. Oh, sorry, sorry, mate. I, he probably wanted to do this himself, but he did give him permission to uh, to do whatever I wanted. So I'm going to take the plastic off and reveal this absolutely gorgeous body. It does look like a Porsche. Ooh. That's it. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Um, first impressions are that body looks amazing. Um, oh look at the look at the uh, engraved chassis! Wow, that looks absolutely brilliant. All the all the edges are machined. We've got engraving underneath. All Allen headed bolts as well. Looks to be decent quality. This. Let's get this body off and have a look underneath. I'll bring you a bit closer. Oh, tell you what, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Let's bring you over here a bit. Now this is the roller, so there's no electronics, no motor, no ESC or anything. You literally supply all your own 
all your own electronics. Um, we look to have a plug for what could be lights. Now, we did say that originally they weren't going to put the lights on the rollers, uh, but they relented and uh, they're actually included it on the bodywork itself. Uh, this thing looks absolutely epic. Those, I don't know if you can tell there. All that, uh, all the aluminium for the bracketry, etc., is all machined and milled on the edges. <coughs> These shocks look really nice quality, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, same story at the back. We've got a spare tyre there as well. Uh, this, like I said, this is the aluminium chassis version. Um, there's a carbon fibre one out, but the machining is absolutely super. This looks like a really nice quality piece of kit. Um, now then, I, there's no tear down on this video. Look at that motor mount there. Solid little piece of aluminium. There's no tear down video on this uh, because eventually this thing is going to be prepared to do speed runs and it will be being featured on the channel. Uh, but he did say, uh, if I wanted, I could mount the steering servo. So I think we're going to do that. We'll have a quick look over it. Like I say, no tear down. Um, all the diffs, all the transmission is metal. We've got a lovely anodized aluminium uh, center shaft there. There is a plastic gear inside, uh, but apparently they are quite durable from first impressions. But this thing is just absolutely epic. It really does look like a nice piece of kit. There's all the lights as well at the back. And I believe you've got lights inside uh, the exhaust pipes as well that flicker. But like I said, this thing is proper trick. Um, okay. Let's get let's get the steering servo out. Let's put the steering servo in. Right, I've just been looking over the car for five minutes and I've spotted a couple of potential issues. Uh, one of which is um, we've got a drive shaft that hasn't been I don't know if you can hear that hasn't been attached or pushed into its cup properly, which is flopping around everywhere. Now I know that the this is a rolling chassis, so they're probably expecting you to take this thing to bits, but. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have to take the suspension and the steering off to put the motor etc in and if you hadn't noticed that you could go flying down the road and that could cause you no end of problems. Very unlikely I'm guessing because you'd have a good look around it first uh, but there is a drive shaft out there and one of the other areas is not it's not necessarily an issue as such it just looks bloody awful but I don't know if you can see there the, the, the way they've glued the tyres on it's atrocious they've got glue all over the sidewalls it's just it's not on only on that one tire it seems pretty much on all of them so it just looks such a mess um but anyway apart from that this thing as i say looks fantastic i even like the fact it's got rolaro printed on uh, the center drive shaft etc anyway let's put that right for him Let's put that right for him and it'll give us a good excuse actually to take some of the suspension off and have a quick look. Right, now that the wheel's off, we can actually have a better look at the suspension and he's actually put a brand new set of tools in the box as well for me to try. So that's what you call a friend, that is. Uh, this is really nice actually. I'll, put, I'll find out where he got it from and I'll put a link in the description. Um, but they come with four sort of hex head uh, drivers, if you like, uh, and one sort of screw body. Uh, but these seem to fit really nice in all the than all the uh, allen headed bolts but anyway uh, everything is adjustable on this thing uh, we've even got and i didn't notice this until i took the wheel off we've actually got an anti-roll bar there as well uh, but everything is adjustable everything seems really well made the only thing that i was a bit like uh, wasn't overly keen on is given sort of the nature of the car you'd have thought they'd have give you sort of four alloy uh, wheel hexes but they're plastic ones instead i don't suppose that's too much of an issue but again we can have a quick look at the those really trick looking shocks they, i tell you what this thing is a thing of beauty it really is uh but they are put the wheel back on and i think well, that's what we'll do we'll, we'll attempt to put the server on now he's given me a, a trick server one of these eco boost servers he says it's, it's an aluminium one he says it's really quick so we're gonna attempt to put that in i think one other thing I have noticed about this while I've been messing with it on the desk is the fact that it rolls really well. I mean, there's virtually no resistance in this thing when it's rolling. I know there's no motor attached to it or anything, but the transmission seems super smooth. And it, it just rolls really nice. There's virtually no resistance there. Right, I put the servo in and I'm glad I did because it gives me a good idea of the fit and finish of some of these parts on this thing and didn't really have any issues, everything went together really nice. Um, it is really nerve wracking working on somebody else's RC, especially one that's like brand new. Uh, I was, I've just had 
pictures of like a something threading or bloody bolts snapping off in something but oh uh, but anyway that's in uh what we i think what we'll do now is have, we'll have a look at some of these uh, surpass hobby electronics that he's bought for this thing now i think this is a 4s uh, surpass hobby rocket system esc 150 amp but look at that that's absolutely fantastic obviously it's got two battery terminals so you can use um two two s's and you end up with four s uh so i'm not sure where this would go because the motor goes that side so you'd have to put it this side i think next to the battery but like i say you'd have to have a mess around somewhere not sure where it would go this is quite a fair thing um i suppose all that that'll all become clearer to later let's have a look at one of these uh motors get let's get the biggest one out first 3670 let's open this one up and see what sort of room we've got uh, like I said, it's not very often you get to do something like this on this channel. I have a load of new bits and pieces to try. So I am eternally grateful if I can get this thing out the plastic. Come on. Because he did actually say, have a quick look and see what the sizes are. Sizes are like. Oh, look at that. Oh, gosh, it's got 5mm pinion. Uh, a lot of 5mm pinion on it as well. 3670, 3050 KV. Because size of that bloody really thing. Uh, right, so that will go sort of in there, won't it, really? Oh, we've got loads of room. I wonder if that ESC will fit there as well. Oh, it's tight. Might do it with a smaller motor, though. Let's have a quick look at the 3660. Might do it with this smaller motor. Go in there roughly, then we might just oh, look at that. So, I think that's probably the better bet, really. The 3660 motor and that ESC, I think we might just be able to squeeze that all in there, and then obviously the batteries go on the other side. Uh, so that's possibly a little bit too big but i don't think that motor will have any problems powering this thing anyway i think it's going to fly no matter what you put in it anyway i think we're going to leave this video here uh, i've got to go and return it to him now there will be a follow-up video to this where we see this thing running because we're going to do he's going to do some speed runs with it and i shall be present uh, he might even depending on how he's feeling let me build this thing up so uh, there might be a video where i put all the gubbins in and that will be nerve-wracking and then we go and try it uh, but anyway if you found this video of some use and interest uh, please give it a big thumbs up and if you're feeling that way inclined hit that subscribe button for more similar future content all the things here i will try and put as links in the description if you if, if you want to go and purchase them you can do anyway thanks once again guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you again very very soon thank you